Hey, what's up guys? Betty here and welcome to a Call of Duty Warzone Season 4 Tips video. Now, in this video, I'm going to give you 44 quick tips to help make you instantly better at the game. I've had a lot of comments from you guys telling me you find these super useful. Also, please do go ahead and share your Warzone tips down in the comments below so we can all help each other out. And before we get into the first tip of the video, 76.7% .7 of you guys watching this are not subscribed to the channel. So subscribe and I promise you, you'll get better at Warzone. So my first tip in Warzone is how you can take advantage of players grabbing the most wanted contract. You'll have probably noticed the crown appear on the minimap when someone is most wanted. But before you go and fight a most wanted, open up your attack map and ping them on your map. This effectively gives you a live ping on that enemy's location so you can plan how to pick up the kill in the easiest way possible without risking too much. One thing you'll probably find an absolute pain in Warzone is when you pick up an LMG, is the amount of time that it takes to get to the point where you can start firing, especially at early game. Well, if you quickly YY or triangle triangle when you pick up the LMG, you'll skip that animation and can start shooting instantly, which can make all the difference at the start of a match. This next tip is one that I cannot stress enough, and I'm surprised players don't do it more often in Warzone, is don't shoot until you know you've got a high chance of downing a player. If you're coming up to someone and they haven't seen you, if you just take those extra few seconds to get in a better position before you start shooting, so you can definitely get the down, you'll win a lot more games and get a lot more kills in Warzone. Next, something that's become even more important in Warzone is the way that you support your teammates in a gunfight. For example, even if you don't have an angle on an opponent shooting, put down some gunfire nearby and it can help your teammates survive as the enemy is less likely to peek them. Also, try to be quick on revives when you can. Warzone is a numbers game, and just like you should apply more pressure on an enemy squad when you down a player, you should also do everything you can to keep your team at full strength. You can't always rely on a moment of brilliance from one of your team. My next tip for Warzone is that you're always going to have moments where you're going to be using the buy station to buy teammates, UAVs, and so on. So it's important you learn how to use it quickly because every second you spend buying things is a second someone could easily take you out and send you to the gulag. And the buy station isn't the only thing you're going to want to learn how to do quickly. You also want to make sure that you can drop cash ammo or armor plates as quickly as possible without having to stay still. Being able to do this on the move and quickly will save you so many times like when you look back on how often you've lost a game because you've spent a while dropping cash for a loadout or dropping a teammate some plates. Remember, it's also time an enemy can take advantage of and take you out. So spend a little time practicing dropping stuff quickly and it will help you in the long run. My next tip is something I don't see players do enough in Warzone and that's centering their crosshairs. What you want to be doing when you move around the map is making sure that you're always aiming at an area that has the potential for an enemy player to come from, whether that's a window, a doorway, or even the crest of a hill. It's a small thing, but will massively help your gameplay in the long run and make it less likely for you to get jumped as you're going to be ready to start shooting as soon as they appear. Also, my next tip is something that I've started doing a lot more recently, and it's using the compass on the top of my screen to help give me a more exact location location of where an enemy is. You'll notice when you call in a UAV, you have to make a rough guess on where the enemy actually is, but using the compass, you can then line them up so they're exactly in front of you so you can start shooting straight away and get that kill. Another important thing to be doing in Warzone is to make sure that you trade kills with your teammates. Sometimes it's more important in a team fight to make sure that you get a down, then get downed yourself as long as your teammate is pushing at the exact same time. Trading kills and key gunfights on the map is key to success, and your teammate will be able to get off the res if you learn to do this quickly, or you could even get a self-res off. But my next tip is sometimes you won't have the ability to push from different angles, especially in buildings or staircases, so learn to swap positions with your teammate. Go up, crack an enemy's armor, then drop off and let your teammate finish him off whilst you plate up. This will help none of you get knocked down and you'll be able to pick up a lot more kills as a team. 
So one of my biggest tips that I want to see more people doing is making sure that when you down a player at close range, especially in buildings, is run away from the fight and plate up if you can. Then re-engage. This will help make sure that you don't die because you're not at full health when you get into a gunfight with the second player from his team. Plus, it'll help give you an upper hand in the fight. Something else I really want to start encouraging you to do is on your assault rifles is to start using some of the low zoom scopes. Now, the two best ones are the Cantered Sight and the VLK 3x Optic. Now, what makes these scopes so good on your assault rifles is the fact that it allows you to take full advantage of the game's aim assist on effectively larger targets as the game breaks optics into low zoom and high zoom the vlk and cantered fit within that low zoom category and are going to make it much easier for you to land your shots on even high recoil weapons like the cr56 so make sure to give it a go Next, I really want to talk about trophy systems. These have been massively buffed since Warzone first came out and is almost a must use for getting around the map quickly for high kill games. When you get one, place it on the top of your Jeep or buggy so that you're fully protected. But this will allow you to rush enemy squads without the fear of being taken out by a C4. Something else to remember when in a vehicle is to remember to position the car against an enemy team based on which side that you get out of the car. For example, if you push an enemy team, I always try to position the car so I have it between me and the enemy when I get out so I have some cover straight away. Also, players don't expect you to instantly appear, so continue to track the vehicle, which gives you the perfect opening to take them down. Then my next tip for Warzone is that choppers are OP. They're one of the best vehicles in the entire game, hands down, for a few reasons. First of all, you can easily reposition to always have the high ground in a fight. And with verticality being so important in Warzone, this is key. You can also get around the map super quickly and as a last resort, you can hurl it towards your enemies as a flying grenade. Also, something you may not have thought about is sometimes when you need to get away from an enemy, you can use your C4 as an extra smoke grenade by throwing it towards the enemy and detonating it in the air. It can just buy you a few seconds to get away without being killed. My next tip for Warzone is something a lot of players underestimate, and that's using melee at the start of a game. Everyone's first instinct when people land in this same spot is just to start shooting with their pistol even if they're beaten to a weapon. But if you're quick, you can take someone down in just two quick hits before they can even get a shot off. So use your melee. Another big tip to do well in Warzone is to make sure that you try and get the high ground whenever possible. I already mentioned using choppers to do this, but you should be looking all the time at where you should be rotating to to get that high ground advantage on an enemy team whenever possible. Trust me, it makes it very difficult for your opponents to beat you. Another huge tip for Warzone that's going to help you win is stick with your team. If you push together as a squad and work the angles on an opponent, it makes it very difficult, no matter how good a player they are, to be able to counter. Also, if you're all together, especially in quads and trios, it's more likely for damage to be spread among the team, meaning it's harder for you to get down. So try not to run off by yourself always have a teammate with you. Which brings me on to my next tip. Make sure that you and your team have the same game plan. If one player is wanting to play slower and using a sniper, for example, if you've got a rushing loadout with an SMG and assault rifle, you're not going to end up working together, which is going to end up costing you. So what I do whenever I get into a game is make sure that I've got the same loadouts as my teammate and know exactly how they want to play the match, it'll end up winning you more games in the long run. And that's another important thing within Warzone. Make sure that you've got the best loadouts possible. The amount of players that you'll see using weapon builds that are not very good is shocking and it really makes a huge difference. So if you need to, watch my loadout videos and kit yourself up properly. You always want to set yourself up for success before you even get into a game. Now you'll have probably noticed with 13 seconds left to go on the first circle closing, loadout drops come in. Now what you might not know is these drops 
are fixed locations and if you learn where they are you can force loadout drop spawns for your team to do that you need to make sure that your team are together and are fairly close to a loadout drop location this means that you can help control the situation and be able to safely get your loadouts and pick up some easy kills because you know where your loadout drop is going to land which is why my next tip is to help you learn things like loadout drop locations. Try and play in the same areas of the map every time. So spend a day landing at Superstore, for example, then the next day land at airport so you learn the best way to play that part of the map. Where to push, what are the power positions, just like you would in any Call of Duty map in multiplayer. It's going to make you a better overall player if you keep on doing this. So I now want to give you some tips on how to win more gunfights in Warzone Season 4. And one of those is to make sure that you don't constantly peek the same point in a gunfight. You always want to make your opponent guess or make some kind of adjustment every time that you appear in their line of sight. Because if you keep popping up at the same spot, you're going to end up getting beamed by someone pre-aiming the corner as all they have to do is pull the trigger and not make any aim adjustments. So maybe peek from the left side of the truck, then the right and so on. And you're gonna win a lot more gunfights and get killed far, far less. Something that's also really important in Warzone is learning when to push enemy players. Applying pressure on an enemy team is so important, especially when you've cracked plates and know you've bought yourself a few seconds as they're likely to plate up. What I tend to do is try to work the angles and when I know they're in a really tough position and have had their armor cracked, I'll push in and either try throw a C4 or use my SMG to finish off the player. Remember, you only want to push across the open if you're fighting a single player with teammate support. Otherwise, use flanks and cover to push an enemy. And I've also got another big piece of advice. Make sure you've got an SMG out whenever you're trying to move around the map quickly. Whether that's pulling off flanks or pushing an enemy player because you're just going to run faster. Amped allows you to very quickly switch between weapons. So make sure to take advantage of that and run with your SMG. However, there are some situations where if you've already made an error and are potentially going to be killed by the gas, you may want to drop your gun to make sure that you get maximum movement speed so you can outrun the gas. This is a very situational tip, but can definitely help you. Something else I really want to stress in Call of Duty Warzone, which I think will help your game out a lot, is don't force yourself into 50-50 gunfights. You always want to try and have some kind of advantage, as I've mentioned a few times in this video. Whether that's having the high ground, forcing a player to run towards you because of the gas, or pulling off a flank and getting the first shot. Because if you're not doing things like that, when you're up against 150 players, Eventually, you're going to lose a 50-50 gunfight. Call of Duty is all about percentages and the probability that you'll come out on top. So always assess the situation. Is waiting an extra 5 to 10 seconds to gain an advantage worth it? Well, 99% of the time, it will be. Something else I always like to tell my friends when I'm playing with them is to always have a plan in your head if you get shot. Like, if you got shot at right now, what would you do? Would it be to slide behind a tree or dive behind some cover? Because if you're always thinking about potential outcomes, you're cutting down the time you need to think when you actually do need to react. And it really does make you look at the game very differently, but makes a big difference. I've already briefly mentioned this, but play the gas. If you've got the circle's edge, you're going to win so many gunfights because players have no choice but to run right at you. If an enemy is hiding inside of a building, but the gas is coming in fairly soon, don't bother rushing in and putting yourself into a 50-50 gunfight, which you could lose. Just wait and they'll run straight at you for an easy kill. My next Warzone tip is also to do with the gas. Most people are scared of it. They look at the gas and never want to go into it because let's face it, it can kill you. But there are some situations, especially if you've got a gas mask at end game, where you'll want to run into the gas to pull off a flank that enemy players just completely don't expect. So don't be afraid to use the gas to your advantage, not just by playing the gas line, but also by going into it to pull off flanks that'll surprise your opponent. 
Now, this is a fairly simple tip, but if you've got a self-revive, sometimes it's worth not using it and costing you 4,500. But just getting yourself to as close as you can to being revived, and then if it's safe to do so, have your teammate finish the revive off, meaning you've got the self-revive for another situation, which could come in handy. This next Warzone tip is something that I found myself guilty of on occasion, and that's to not get tunnel visioned. You need to remember that in Warzone, a lot is going on at any one time with large amounts of teams. So always be aware of what's going on around you and be willing to drop out of a fight for the bigger picture because there's been times where I've got so focused on a fight, I've forgotten about the gas and got taken out by that, which is one of the worst ways to get killed in Warzone. Now, if you've ever watched one of my streams, you'll notice one of the things I try and do all the time is live ping enemies at every given opportunity. Not only does this allow me to see exactly what direction they're heading, but so can my team. It is such a small thing, but makes such a big difference. If you can't comfortably do this with default controller settings or don't have an elite controller or a scuff, for example, then try the bumper ping controller scheme. It really does make a difference and can help your team out. Next, if you're playing any mode that's not solos, one of the biggest improvements that you can make to your game is to learn to give clear communication. Things like exact locations of enemy players, what you've got covered and where you're pushing. This helps your teammates make better decisions around you and be able to help you out the best that they can. Like, we all do it, but saying over there isn't very helpful. But on the other hand, if you say right hand side of red roof, it's going to allow your teammates to know exactly where they are or things like orange ping blue ping green ping just clear communication is going to improve your game earlier in the video i talked about using the buy station quickly but something else you need to be doing is spending your cash there's no point having a load of money doing nothing so buy uavs buy self revives use that cash to help you in the game having an airstrike or something like that in your pocket is far better than 3500 doing nothing. Something else to get into the habit of is making sure that you're always getting to the ground as quickly as possible at the start of a match. Now, what I personally do is mark where I want to land on the tack map, and then when I'm around 730 meters away from that location is when I jump out of the plane. This tends to be one of the best distances to get to the area before other players, which is key to getting off to a good start, especially if you're landing in places like Superstore that are popular drop locations and get a lot of action. Next, if you're not already, make sure that you're completing contracts. They will help you win games, whether that's by having more cash to get more utility for you and your team or by helping you find out where the zone is going. Like if you really want to win games of Warzone and aren't too fussed about getting high kill games, doing recon contracts to get the best position in the final circle is easily one of the best things that you can do. If you haven't already learned to slide cancel, when moving around the map, slide canceling not only makes you harder to hit, hit because of how your hitbox changes but it also helps you move around faster the hardest thing is getting the timing just right but you effectively want to be tactical sprinting the entire time also setting your slide behavior to tap in settings will massively help you out and make slide cancelling easier Another thing that's going to really help you out in Warzone is bunny hopping in gunfights. This is easier if you've got a scuff or elite controller, but just jumping in a fight really throws off an opponent, especially if you get momentum into the fight as you jump around a corner and bunny hop. It makes it incredibly difficult for an enemy to snap onto you, and usually you can take them out before they can do anything. And bunny hopping isn't the only thing you should be doing to help you win more gunfights, but you should also drop shots when possible. Possible. Doing anything that you can do to throw off an opponent in a gunfight is only going to help make you a better Warzone player. Also, another simple tip is to make sure that you do the two loadout drop trick. Use the first loadout to get an overkill class set up so you get two powerful weapon builds to help you deal with any situation in Warzone. And then use a second loadout so you can either get ghost or restock depending on what you want to be using. My next tip for Warzone is when you're in a team fight. The most important thing for you and your team to win the engagement is to get the first down. The second you do that, you're able to work the angles and systematically take out the rest of the opponents. It's why if you've ever watched S&D tournaments at a professional standard, whoever gets the first kill statistically 
ends up winning the round. So to do that, make sure you focus on one opponent at a time, whether that's someone that's split off from his team, because if there's two or three of you shooting at one guy, there's almost nothing they can do to survive if they position themselves poorly or are a little bit out in the open. Then my final tip for Warzone Season 4 is one that I really think is crucial for long-term success in the game. And that's to keep a positive mindset. It's so easy to rage and get angry if you get taken out. And it'll just throw off not only your own game for the rest of your play session, but also your team. Big your team up. Make them know when they make a good play. And most importantly, help each other out. And that's what I really want to do with the community on this channel. All help each other become better Call of Duty players and have fun whilst we do it. But there we have it. 44 tips for Warzone Season 4. That was a big list and I hope it helped you out. Share your own tips down in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new and click one of the videos on screen for more Warzone content. And I'll see you there.